Okay. Today we're going to be talking about dimensional and variance reports. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to be giving you a comprehensive guide to your analytics. Um, so as always, I'm going to go through what we're going to be talking about and then jump into the actual talk talking points. Uh, first, we're going to do an introduction to myself, if you haven't met me yet in a previous webinar. Then we're going to talk about your additional and variance reports, which you can find under your analytics. I'm going to give you some tips on how to use them, where you might find them useful. Uh, compared to our other reports, they're a little bit underutilized, uh, but they're very valuable and super easy to use, especially once you know how to use them. Uh, next, we're going to talk about Everflow Pay, which we released last year and our customers have had tremendous success with. Finally, we're going to talk about some upcoming events and webinars where you can see Everflowians, uh, learn more actionable tips, and then also meet us in person. And then at the end, we will do a question and answer. As always, if you do have any questions, you can ask them in the chat uh, on the right side of your screen. I'll be more than glad to answer them at the end. So uh, once again, my name is Isaac Mayer. Hello, if you haven't met me yet, I do a lot of these webinars. You'll see me in the future if you join us in the future. I'm a customer success manager with Everflow, and I've been in affiliate marketing for over six years, working in software as a service, helping out uh, affiliates, um, uh, marketing agencies, brands, really everyone to help uh, boost up their affiliate efforts. And I've seen a tremendous success there. And today I'm going to help you do the same. I'm based out of San Francisco, California. So if you're ever in that neck of the woods, don't hesitate to say hi. But let's jump into why we're really here today, and that's to talk about your dimensional and variance reports. I'm going to show you how to do an in-depth performance analysis optimization of your affiliate efforts. So first, let's get into the dimensional report. Um, this report is fantastic for reviewing different metrics in one view and breaking down your view around a selected data point. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. Uh, this is particularly useful for performance optimization. And I'm going to show you exactly why and how in just a moment. Okay. So let's jump into the Everflow dashboard to look at the dimensional report. Okay. You can now see the dimensional report. I'm actually going to show you how to get here too. So from your dashboard, you can just do analytics and select dimensional. And from there, we'll be at our dimensional report. Uh, and let's jump into uh, why this is useful and how to use it. Uh, essentially, this allows you to make educated decisions uh, to break uh, and break down your data uh, with our cute little dimensional breakdown. Okay, so... Um, Essentially, this allows you to tricks in one view and break down your performance or break down your view around a selected data point. Like I said, super useful for performance optimization. Um, so uh, we have a couple things to look at here. First, we have the date range, which you can easily set. In this case, let's do the past two weeks. You can also add up to five dimensions to look at. Uh, as you can see down, we have detailed uh, card each of these dimensions. Um, I'd also like to note um, that you can select select dimension metrics uh, up to two here. In this case, we're looking at cl clicks and revenue. But if we want to, for instance, learn uh, look at invalid clicks or payout, we could select those instead. So we can set the metrics here uh, and see them broken down by each of our, in this case, device brand. Um, we have a few other dimensions here. Uh, so we have device brand, so it's easy to see how our clicks and revenue performing among device brand. We can also see this for country, uh, partner, and offer in this case. But like I said, you can add up to five, and we have a bunch of different options here uh, to make sure that you get the information that you need. Um, while this is fantastic, and it's great to see all of this data, um, it's even useful to actually be able to pivot around a certain point. So let's say we're really trying to test performance of uh, our people of our users on Apple. So we just click the little uh, filter right there. Uh, and now that we've done this, um, all of this information in the other cards now applies specifically to Apple. So we're essentially looking at all this data around one point. Uh, so now we can see that the United States is our top coming top uh, performing uh, country for Apple. Uh, we can see how our perf our partners are performing across this uh, and offers. Uh, and like I said, we can do this with a, uh, all these different dimensions here and we can add that uh, filter for the data point 
on any of these. So let's say we want to view the performance for just this partner. Now we can see um, how they're performing uh, for their offers. We can see how they're performing in various countries and on various device brands. And this essentially makes it super easy to track the performance um, for among any of these specific dimensions, which is why it's called the dimensional report, of course. Um, so that's the basics. Um, another wonderful thing about this report is that you can use the line graphs to visualize how your data is trending. So perhaps you've made some changes and you want to see if it's making a positive impact. Maybe we want to see if our efforts in China have, uh, have been taking hold. We can see how that's performing in these line graphs right here. So you can see conversions have been going up payouts around level, revenues around level. Uh, but essentially, this makes it super easy to track our performance. And you can see that you can change this to daily, weekly. Um, and you can also change the reports that you have there. Um, so we've made it super easy to track across dimensions. Let's jump into the variance report. OK. So here we're at our variance report. Um, this is super useful. It allows you to compare your performance across two different time periods and see increases and decreases for each metric. Um, so, so as you can see here, uh, once again, we are in analytics and then variance. Uh, and we're gonna select a current and previous time period. These are our two compare. Uh, essentially what we're going to be comparing in the branch report. Today, let's do, how about the past two weeks? And we'll compare to the previous two weeks before that. And run our report. So uh, another thing to mention before we jump into the, the nitty gritty of all the weeds, um, you have the parent and child options. So the parent is the data point that will be used for comparison. Uh, the child is optional for further breakdown uh, under the selected parent data. Um, and like I said, uh, just for the other reports, um, once the filters and periods have been selected, you can run the report. So just like any other report, we have these filters. You can sort of by offer, advertiser, partner, you name it. Today, we're just gonna be looking at this relatively basic report though. Okay, so jumping into exactly what you can see here, uh, we have our summary. So this summary card provides an overview of important metrics with a quick comparison between the previous period uh, and the current period. Uh, so as you can see here, we get our impressions, we're down on gross clicks, uh, but essentially, this just gives us a general summary of variance. So this is fantastic if we want to look um, at a couple different periods. Maybe we want to test um, different seasons against each other. Maybe we want to test um, time periods uh, before and after we started a certain campaign. Um, this allows us to uh, brighten up that black box that, that can be our, our marketing efforts in some cases. We want to make that more clear. Uh, looking at performance graph, uh, you'll have, um, it'll give you the, the report data um, in a chart view comparing the uh, current period against the previous period. And you can see that right here. Uh, so in this case, you can see that we're looking at revenue and payout. Once again, we can select any two items you want. And we can also have used this uh, with bars as well. Once again, this makes it just super easy, not only to see uh, how your efforts have have changed your results, um, but all, this is also fantastic if you're potentially reporting this to someone else on your team. That way they don't have to dig into the data. We want to make it easy to uh, see how your campaigns are performing. All right, so we also finally have this detailed report. So this detailed report, as you can see down here, uses different metrics to break down differences between the two time periods. Uh, for every metric, you have this previous and the current column, as well as variance, which you can see here. 
Um, if this is green, it indicates a positive change. If it's red, it indicates negative change. Um, and then as always, you can click this little vertical ellipses, these vertical dots to either export this or custom the columns with whatever you so choose. Uh, so you can see here, uh, gross clicks has gone down 0.75%. In this case, it's gone down 18%. That might indicate that a change is necessary. Um, you can use these as alerts for either a necessary change if something's gone wrong or as um, an indicator if something's gone right. And maybe that's an action, whatever action uh, spurred that change should be repeated on other campaigns, other offers. Okay. Let's stop sharing the screen there. And we're going to jump back into the slides. Okay. So we've talked about our variance and dimensional reports. Let's talk a little bit more about Everflow Pay. Uh, Everflow Pay does, uh, which we came out with last year and our clients have had tremendous success with, uh, it allows you to optimate uh, sorry, automate generating invoices and payments. Um, it is also the only payment method that is automated at your partner signup. Uh, it's also the only payment method that will show a warning bar on your partner's dashboard to enter payment info. Uh, ultimately, this results in setting up, uh, in sorry, in saving time and setting up the partner billing method and chasing down partners to input that information. That's a thing of the past. Uh, and finally, this results in a seamless partner payments onboarding experience. Uh, if you are interested in Everflow Pay, you can reach out to the customer success team by clicking on the chat um, on your Everflow dashboard, or you can reach us at pay.help at everflow.io. Uh, in terms of upcoming webinars, you can find us on September 25th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm talking about post-back post basic giving that webinar. And then you can also find us um, on October 2nd, uh, we don't have a time for that one yet, we'll, where we'll be talking about a new feature, um, Event Funnel Analytics. Um, and this is actually a fantastic time for me to share a little bit about that. We're gonna be spotlight, spotlighting that in the future, um, but I just wanted to go in for a brief moment and, and share essentially what that's gonna be. Um, so Event Funnel Analytics, uh, these will allow you to gain deep insights into a marketing funnel, vis visualize user progression, and optimize your conversions. Um, so this will allow you essentially to uh, analyze the flow of subset of events for a specific offer uh, or across multiple offers for an advertiser and advertiser-specific events. Uh, this will give you a clearer picture of how your user users progress through your marketing stages. Um, so we'll talk more about that in the future, but I did just want to give you that quick sneak peek. But please do join us on October 2nd if you'd like to learn more about that and how powerful it's going to be. That's going to be, once again, in that analytics section. Okay, if you'd like to find us next, you can do so at PI Live in London. That's going to be October 22nd. Um, and you guessed it, London in the UK. You can also find us at FinCon October 23rd through the 26th in Atlanta, Georgia. We hope to see you there. So thank you once again for joining us in another Everflow webinar. It's been great uh, helping you learn more about these uh, variant, or sorry, these analytics reports, dimensional invariance. Um, if you do have any questions, I will be more than glad to answer them at this time. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and you can see also in the chat, uh, Dasha from our team uh, mentioned the event funnel reports. And I think this is a fantastic time. Maybe I'll just open this up and show you exactly what we're talking about. So this is a very much a sneak peek, but I'm going to share my screen once again. And we'll just go through a little bit of the knowledge base article so that you can actually see this. And this is the behind the scenes that you get for actually showing up to the webinar. Okay. 
All right, so here is our uh, knowledge base article for funnel analytics. Um, I talked a little bit about this, um, but here's an actual visual of what you'll see on the. Um, like I said, with funnel analytics, you can visualize directionality and relationships between selected events, track user progression from one stage of the funnel to the other to another, uh, measure time intervals between stages, and assess associated costs and other key metrics for each funnel stage. Um, for instance, like it says here, uh, you might be able to, to precisely see how many leads submitted to demo requests and eventually became customers. Um, moreover, by associating costs and other cr uh, crucial metrics with each stage, this feature will allow you, uh, sorry, this feature uh, will allow you to identify bottlenecks, optimize your conversion rates, and ultimately improve the ROI, ROI of your marketing campaigns. Uh, so once again, this is going to be under analytics, and then you'll be able to configure the funnel, much like you can see here. So this will be something that we'll be releasing soon. Um, we'll have a date for you in the future on this. But once again, just wanted to give you a little bit more of an in-depth sneak peek. First, stick around and join the event live. Uh, and yes, this webinar will be posted on YouTube. You'll also be able to find it in the help desk articles for 